To download the setting tool for your printer, go to business.toshiba.com. From the items across the top, click Support. Then you can click on Drivers, MSDS and Manuals, or the icon right next to it. You can enter the product name and number if you know that. Or you can go down to select a product and click Printer, and then choose the appropriate printer. Now select the setting tool to download, or you can check here and press Download Selected Items. When selected, it will pop up a window allowing you to choose the location of your download, then select Save. The download will begin and you can click on the download bar below and select Open. This will open up the security warning window, select Run. This will bring up the Welcome to the BFB Setting Tool Setup Wizard window. Select Next. On the License Agreement, select I Agree, and then Next. You can then browse to the location where you'd like to install this folder or leave it at the default location and press Next. You will then see a pop-up window to confirm the installation, press Next. Installing the BFV setting tool will begin. I have shortened up the process for the video here, but this may take several minutes. This will bring up a window showing installation complete and you can now select Close. Please note that the setting tool version must match that of the printer firmware. You can double click on the BFV setting tool icon that was created during installation. This will open up the BFV setting tool. Here we will cover some of the main settings in the setting tool. First, you can choose the connection type that you are going to use and the printer model. There are numerous tabs across the top, the first being general, which you can set your image, supply, control, action, and so on. Another is LAN or local area network, where you can set your TCP IP, protocol, server, and so on and additional tabs like IPv6, wireless LAN, and Bluetooth. You can also choose your printer command language and change it to a Zebra emulation. Here you see many choices under the general tab. For supply, you see sensor types. You can choose reflective, black mark, transmissive edge, or transmissive centralized. For ribbon sensor, you can select to disable or enable this setting. For auto calibration, you can choose to have it off, on at power on, or on at power on and when you close the head. Reprint after error can be enabled or disabled. Under action, you can set the print darkness anywhere from 0 to 30, and the print speed anywhere from 2 to 6 inches per second. Under label, you can select the width and height. And under Position Adjustment, you can select the X and Y coordinates, as well as the tear-off position. For other items in the Setting Tool, please refer to Contents under the Help tab at the top of the Setting Tool. 